trying a new spot new to me had my eye on it for a while got a bunch of pins dropped around here spots I want to check out this is one of them You better run, I'm coming for you. I need some grace for this dang thing. A little too squeaky. Alright, so I went on past that deer that I saw. Saw a pretty good browse line in the woods. Um, suggest there's a lot of deer in here, but not a lot of oaks. We're looking at a couple of big red oaks right here. The ones that still have green leaves on them. It's just an isolated pocket and all behind it is thicket. So uh, I'm going to creep up in here look for acorns and deer sign. So this spot may be a bust this year, but I'm going to drop a pin on Onyx just to keep it in the back of my head for next year and in the future because whenever these trees have a good crop of acorns, this could be a hot spot. If you're wanting to try Onyx, I've got a discount code for 20% off. The discount code is CATMAN. I've got a link down below in the description. It'll take you right to their page. You go on their website to sign up and then download the app on your phone. You can look at it on your computer or on your phone and use the offline mode. So if you got bad cell signal, you can download your area onto your phone before you go out and hunt. So check out the discount code if you're wanting to give it a shot. I would recommend it personally, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be using it. So let's go and uh, see if we can get into where that deer was and see if I can't find a place to set up. So that deer I saw from the boat was over this way. I just jumped a couple of deer and ran that way. I thought I heard something in the leaves and then I saw robins. So they make a lot of noise. So I kept walking. There goes two deer. They went back towards the big thicket. Wait, there's still one here stomping. There it is. Some of the weirdest freaking deer I've seen. They're trying to slip through the woods back towards the boat. If they keep going, they may get downwind. I'm gonna keep easing on with them. I bumped one of them. I can hear a bunch of them though. Moving back towards the thicket.
just sitting here deciding where I want to set up and listening. He says, does I bummed kind of ran off in this thicket behind me. And I thought I heard one of them coming back, but it's that little buck sniffing around looking for does. Rut's definitely heating up hot in this area. All right, after thinking it over, poking around a little bit, I'm gonna go back to the canoe, head around to uh, the other side of this big thicket that I was sitting next to where that buck came out of. I'm gonna get on the other side of it where there's a little CRP field. Oh, look at this trail funnel here. Got a fresh scrape. Fresh dookie. Oh, well, there's some wore out trails along this, this edge of this field here. And they're skirting property line, but going on to patch. They're staying on public because the uh, property line's got a woven wire fence and the deer are skirting around it, staying on public. So. And if one tries to get around behind me, I do have a shot. I'm just going to have to get up on my knees and turn to shoot. Well, hindsight's 2020. Should have stayed back in the woods where I saw all the deer. But Next time I come back here, I'm, I'm going to probably climb a tree over in those woods. Alright y'all, sorry it's a little blurry. Um, going in where I was the other day. Uh, where I walked up on those does and had that buck come cruising by. Today is the, this is the day before muzzleloader. It's the last day of bow season. I think I might have a good shot today. It's fixing to get light out, so we're gonna get up in the woods and pick a tree. Okay, when I was about halfway climbed up, I heard a deer walking in stopped but I never heard it spook run away or anything so I don't know what happened to it but I already got deer moving I'm kind of out in the open right now but I'm on a big old poplar tree so maybe I'll have some form of cover
too quick to get the bow ready. I think these deer are running because they're being pushed. At least there was that one spike. I bet there was another deer, another buck probably, because I heard several of them run by.
season. All right, it is nine o'clock. The action has slowed down for a little while. I'd love to sit till 12 or 1, but I've got a doe I've got to take care of, get her gutted back to the truck, and drive her down to a processor to donate for Hunters for the Hungry. This will be my third one this year. My goal's still five. Uh, and then I gotta get back to the woods as soon as possible, so uh, hopefully I can scout another pin because I got a bunch of pins dropped of areas I want to scout. We have the meat. Well, I was a little bit skylined. Got picked off a couple times, but it was a killing tree. Uh, oh shoot, I forgot to pick this stuff up. Let's go get this deer first. There's an the arrow. What is that? Not even 10 yards from the tree. But it was a low exit, it looks like. Lots of white fur. A little bit fatty, but some blood on the arrow. Wow, it's stuck in there. Stuck in there pretty good. Definitely gonna have to sharpen that one. I opened her up pretty good. She's laying right over here, right where I heard her crash. Perfect shot. That's the entry, so yeah, it was a low exit, I assume. Perfect. I'm gonna get this deer by the water where I can wash my hands and wash a knife off. Uh, let me show you a little trick here. This is, a, this is an aider I keep in my bag just in case I need an extra step out of one of my climbing sticks. Also doubles as a really good deer drag. I'll show you how I set it up to make dragging real easy. You want to try to crisscross the front legs behind the neck. All right. Take this aider, go around like that. So we got a piece of uh, garden hose for the handle. And then this will just cinch down. The harder you pull it, the tighter it gets. And you just drag her. This is great when you gotta get up a steep rocky ridge that a deer cart won't get up. This, this is ideal deer cart territory right here, but I took the canoe in so my deer cart's at home. Uh, so this drag, this drag rope will work just fine. It's not very far. 